was uh, not something I expected now in 2020 uh, to still be working with, but it's become uh, uh, not a volunteer uh, uh, opportunity for me. It's become a passion, and uh, I have uh, friends uh, that are battling ALS. I have friends that have passed from ALS, and I've become friends with those caregivers and those that, that work to support uh, and, uh, and to further the mission of the association, not, not only here in Omaha or the chapter, but nationally. Kurt and Mary were special because our oldest, Sarah, and my oldest, our youngest son, Tass, he's 11 now, uh, Sarah was having quite uh, a labor uh, time with him and we were at Lakeside Hospital in Omaha, Nebraska and uh, Mary is still remains an OB nurse there, uh, labor delivery nurse and that's how we met Mary and she actually stayed over her time um, where she was supposed to stay because she had really taking a liking to Sarah. Well that's how Marty and Sarah and I met is I took care of them over 12 years ago when she came in and um, delivered Cass and then um, that's how we met and it was amazing. Um, we got along really well we both have kind of southern roots and um, so we just hit it off and of course they're wonderful people. Fast forward to Light of Hope in 2009 we're sitting in Elmwood Park and I say Sarah I, I, I know her, she looks familiar. And Sarah's like, no, it's probably just someone you met through baseball. And I'm like, no, I, I, I know her. And it was Mary and she was there with her daughter. And long story short, had come to find out uh, that uh, her husband, Kurt, uh, was battling ALS. And that's why they were there. And that was the beginning of a friendship over a number of years. About six months later, we met at uh, a picnic and Marty and I were both floored that we were meeting again under these circumstances and of course he was devastated that ALS had touched my family. Mary was kind to Sarah and it was I guess my opportunity to to pay it back to Kurt and Mary. From then on we've just kind of had a lifelong connection I mean for you know almost 13 years now. When I went to DC I got to see and, and for two days, three days, uh, we went through the Capitol. There were a number of things that I did with them. It was an opportunity to see someone that was actually living with ALS. In May of 2011, Kurt and I and Marty were chosen to go represent um, the ALS a chapter of Nebraska um, in Washington, and it was quite the adventure. Um, Marty got to truck around with us, and Kurt could still walk. Um, however, um, his doctor recommended that we take a portable wheelchair. It's one thing to hear about it and see it on Facebook and talk about it, but it's another thing to actually be with them for the two, two or three day period. But he was there tirelessly with us in all the representative's offices. Um, he listened to me tell my story, um, our story, excuse me, Kurt and I's story. Um, we were going through a difficult time. Um, Kurt was on an experimental drug. Um, that had just suddenly been pulled from us. Um, he was one of the few people that was on this drug and it was working really well for him. And um, Marty got emotional right in the offices with us. Um, I would become tearful, Marty would become tearful. I remember Senator Fisher becoming very tearful. Um, he, he just felt everything right along with us. That was uh, uh, somewhat life-changing, quite honestly. And uh, you know, it, it really, puts perspective on uh, what's important and really what's not important. It's not just a energy commitment for him or a financial commitment for him. It's a heart commitment for him. He gives his heart and I think that that's what this award is all about. Yeah, again, I, I use the word inspiring because it is. I mean, it truly is. Those that fight, you know, David Masters has been honored here at this event before and, you know, his wife Jody and, and, and their kids and what they do and, um, you know, but, but the other thing is the spirit of people with ALS. I remember one of the walks in Omaha when uh, David and Tim, Tim Cassiopo, who has since passed away, uh, they drag raced. You know, they're, 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 they call them their scooters. They drag raced at Warner Park, you know, after, after the walk. You know, there's still that, 
there's still that human spirit and and you know they are still living and, and they're 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 battling for every single day that they get you know I think it's important for us to not only support that and to support research but it's also important for us to to remember what's important and in our own ways in our communities to give back in ways that we feel is appropriate. No I just wanted to say that you know if I can get through this um, our pastor said um, I won't be able to get through it. <laughs> um, okay, that uh, God's greatest invitations come through life's biggest interruptions. And that's a lesson that Kurt and I tried to teach our children and our grandchildren through the entire battle. And all I can say to Marty is thank you for accepting the invitation to help all of the ALS families through our biggest life interruption. We love you, Marty.